Apple. Lenny Supal is at Tampa International Airport tonight. I was there earlier today. It was active. Atlanta was a little Busy. rough in Atlanta, man. Mm. Uh, you got to be careful out there. As for right now, though, things looking good here in Tampa International Airport. In fact, most of the crowds we're seeing are families welcoming in their loved ones, and that's why so many people made their plans in advance to avoid those headaches. But the major crowds and potential headaches will be this Wednesday and Sunday. Tampa International Airport preparing for record numbers this week. More than 85,000 people taking off and flying into Tampa. As for those who we spoke to, people are in good spirits and happy they're avoiding those major headaches. When you're traveling, you just, you go with the flow. You know, and I always try and, like, um, put in some extra days. Like, if I'm taking time off from work, I'll cushion it on both ends. You know, it's a good travel tip, um, just in case. So TSA is fully staffed, the airport very proud of that, but the biggest issue we're expecting to see is with the parking. You may remember the strain last year when the garages were at capacity and the airport had to create parking under lots. That could very well happen this year. They are monitoring the situation and then they say they will have shuttles to bus people in if that is the case. But they're reminding everyone to book their parking online ahead of time. And if you do so, you will be guaranteed a spot. Reporting live from the Tampa International Airport, Lenny Supal 8 on your side. I actually say we're able